Yeah, I mentioned Belgium. It turns out, you know, we, we there was that uh, Belgian terror, terror attack over the weekend. There were also terror attacks all across Africa. I thought it was interesting. Van Jones on, on Twitter pointed this out, and I retweeted it with a comment of my own on Saturday. Uh, there were 13 or 14 suicide bombings that killed well over 100 people uh, last Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And only one got reported wall-to-wall in American news, even though it was actually one of the smaller ones. And that was the one in Brussels, Belgium, which is white. It's, you know, it's Europe. It's Caucasian. But you had a massacre by Boko Haram. You had bombings going on across, across Northern Africa and even Central Africa. And nobody's reporting on them. Nobody's sending in camera crews. Oh, it's just, it's just Africans killing each other. Really? I mean, even in our coverage of terrorism, we're showing this bias. But in any case, back to Belgium. They've got a nuclear power plant just outside of Brussels. I mean, it's, it's literally in the suburbs. And it turns out that the guys who, who blew themselves up had been doing surveillance on this power plant. And, and one of the workers at the power plant in the last couple of weeks had been murdered and his access badge had been stolen. And they found the camera, which has the surveillance video that was done by one of the suicide bombers of that nuclear power plant. Nuclear power plants are bombs waiting to happen. It's time It's time to just say no to nuclear power. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 202-536-2370. I mean, frankly, this is not that different from the Keystone XL pipeline, it, you know, which is a thousand-mile-long terrorist target. Nuclear power plants are, too. Come on. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.